Hey everybody, hope you've been keeping well. Hello Yon from the tour of our apartment in our last video. We wanted to give you a little bit more of a profile on who we are as people. With that, then we're going to talk a little bit about who we are individually, as well as the things that we get up to as a couple. So I'm Nick, I'm 33, and I'm from a town about an hour west outside of London in England. I was raised there and also went to university about 45 minutes down the road at the University of Surrey and I studied French and German. I've always had a fascination with people in general, how we operate, how we cooperate with each other to then create cultures and also the histories that we've left behind. So that degree discipline ended up being my pathway to that and it's just been my jam ever since. After graduating I worked a number of different jobs for various tech companies in the local area while then also pursuing some other passions outside of work, those being the likes of playing sports, seeing live music and performing in musical theatre. However, after a few years, I realised that life wasn't quite going in the direction that I was after. I thought I would be a little bit more progressed at my job. I thought I'd have been seeing more of the world, all of that kind of stuff. And it just felt like I'd gone into a bit of a repetitive pattern. To tell the truth, I wasn't happy. I decided that I needed a bit of a change of scenery and for me, it needed to be something really big. I'd been very fortunate to have lived in Paris and Berlin during my placement year at university, which was great. But because of that, I knew that I needed to broaden my horizons further. Australia and New Zealand came up, but they were a bit too far away from home for me. But then when I considered Canada, then it all blended into one. People that I talked to said nothing but great things. The more I researched about it, the more it seemed like my kind of place. With that, I applied for a working holiday visa and a great amount of time, money and effort later, I was fortunate enough to get it approved. So I moved out to Canada later that year. That was all in October 2016. So I've now been here for over six years since that point. I started off working a winter season at a resort elsewhere in Ontario. I then unsuccessfully tried to seek a job in Montreal, hoping to improve my French. And when that didn't work, I definitely settled here in Toronto and I've been here since about June 2017. And that has coincided with starting work at the company for whom I still work now. Outside of that, I've really tried to explore the city and the wider province as well as other parts of the country to see what it all has to offer and I've loved every single second of it. There's a lot of people back home who ask me why I settled in Toronto in particular and I think it really is as simple as this. I always tell them the same thing. You can come from anywhere. You can believe in anything you want. You can like whatever you like and there is definitely something here for you. And that to me is a message I just think should be universal. The other great thing about this city, beyond just being my speed in general, is the fact that it does also offer a lot of opportunities to follow and pursue your interests. So I've still been able to keep up my sports. I've still been able to perform, as actually the company I work for has a band, and I've been singing for that ever since I started. And outside of that, literally just exploring everything that the city has to offer has been really my main priority and the greatest thing is that there are still so many places I still haven't explored yet. It took some time to really establish a foothold in this country and in this city but if you offered me the opportunity to relive the past six or so years then I wouldn't have changed anything for the world. I'm a permanent resident in this country, I've had a job with the same company the entire time that I've been in Toronto. My citizenship application is in the post. I have some amazing friends. I've also been extremely fortunate in finding the love of my life here as well. So thank you, Bumble. I ended up swiping right on her and 
as mentioned in a previous video, we ended up going on a first date in Unionville and I just knew that this person was different. She is probably one of the kindest, most generous, and arguably just one of the overall best people I could possibly know. And I'm so very grateful to have her in my life. So the prospect of getting to not just go around the world, but get to go around the world and share it with her is something about which I can only be really excited. It's truly a privilege to have her in my life. I'm Rachel and I'm 34. I was born in Scarborough, Ontario, and that's where I lived for most of my life. When I was 14, my family and I moved to Unionville, and then finally we settled in Newmarket, Ontario when I was about 18 years old, and we've been there ever since. My main extracurricular activity was that I was a competitive figure skater for Unionville Figure Skating Club, but at school I played every sport imaginable. I was on the ultimate frisbee team, basketball team, soccer team, baseball team, badminton team. I'm probably forgetting some, but my favorite team of all was the volleyball team. I went to Carleton University, which is in Ottawa, Ontario, and I studied political science. I was there for two years, but then I realized that I just wasn't on the right path. I was kind of burnt out from all of the essays that I had to write in high school because I was really into social sciences and humanities, and I realized I needed a break. I also had time to think about what my passions were, and sports and fitness have been a constant in my entire life. So I realized that if I was able to take my hobbies and make them into career, that would make me the most happy. I moved to the Netherlands to a city called Honinga, which is up north, to study in an international physiotherapy program for four years. Some of you might be wondering why I was able to study in the Netherlands so easily. At the time, the UK was part of the European Union, and because I have a UK passport, it meant that studying in the EU was cheap and easy to do. The most exciting thing about living in the Netherlands was that I was so much closer to my family in England than I'd ever been before. And instead of seeing them once or twice a year, which I realized put me in a fortunate position to begin with, I was able to see them nearly every month. While I was there, I met the most incredible group of girlfriends, shout out to the sexy bodies, and I was able to travel Europe on the cheap. The great thing about living in Europe is that they have discount airlines, so you can get around without much money. I was really lucky to be able to travel to Spain, France, the Czech Republic, Poland, and Austria to name a few with my family and friends. My favorite part about traveling around Europe was the fact that I was able to see what I had studied in the history textbooks in the flesh. Seeing things brought to life from the page is really what inspires me and makes travel so special to me. I feel a connection to cultures and people who've come before and I think that learning from the past is just such an important thing. We should really value the historical lessons that we learn. Coming back to Canada after studying in the Netherlands was really difficult because I had to convert my degree. The whole process took me almost two years and included a ton of paperwork, waiting, and finally written and practical exams. It was all worth it in the end because I was finally able to pursue a career that I was so passionate about and I was able to be back with my family and friends who I missed terribly when I was living in the Netherlands. As soon as I qualified, I started my own business and I work as a mobile self-employed physiotherapist going to assess and treat people at their homes or in office. I also do a little bit of work in retirement homes and nursing homes. The theme of my life is sports and fitness. So of course I went back to the gym, Good Life Fitness in particular, and I have a really great group of girlfriends there. So before the pandemic, we used to do exercise classes almost every morning, usually body step or body attack, but unfortunately the pandemic brought an end to that for us, but we still keep in touch and go out to dinner. 
When I'm not working or working out, you can find me lying in bed in front of the TV watching a good show or one of my favorite fashion, fitness, makeup, flight attendant, or travel vloggers on YouTube. I really got into YouTube when I was living in the Netherlands and that's how I came up with the crazy idea to quit my job and travel the world. Eventually my life changed for the better when I came across Nick's profile on Bumble and I pressed the check mark. I didn't swipe because I'm not that tech savvy and I could never figure out which way I was supposed to go. Bumble, if you're watching, we're a love story and you should sponsor us. But in all seriousness, Nick is my absolute best friend in the whole world. And I'm so grateful that I have him as my teammate and partner to go on this adventure with. I really cannot wait. Aside from our individual interests, together we enjoy. Both of us have always led an active lifestyle prior to meeting one another, and I've kept that going ever since. We've done various different types of workouts and ways of keeping ourselves fit, but right now we've really landed on strength training and tend to go to the gym at least four times a week. Rachel, in particular, freaks out if she can't make it every day. We find ourselves alternating between push, pull days for upper body, including lat pull downs, shoulder presses, posterior delt rows, and some bench work, and an all round leg day, which often includes back squats and deadlifts. When we can't make it to the gym though, then we normally do an at-home workout on YouTube. MadFit in particular is our channel of choice. Nick and I both love animals. Early on, we knew that our plan was to travel for a year, so adopting a pet of our own wasn't an option. After doing some research, we settled on fostering a cat through Etobicoke Humane Society. We picked up Dante on January 15th, 2022, and have had him ever since. He loves to cuddle, all the time. He often sits on our chests while we watch TV. He's very curious and playful. He loves the laser pointer, his bird on a stick, and catnip toys the best. We're hoping that we can find him a forever home before we leave. Otherwise, he'll go back to the shelter where they do wonderful work and he'll be well taken care of. During the summer, Rachel and I developed a love for going on walks around our neighborhood in Toronto, which blended into our coffee addiction. We melded our two loves by trying upwards of 20 different coffee shops on our hour-long walks first thing in the morning or after work or both. We hope to feature our favorites in an upcoming video. While we do like to think of ourselves as active people, we do like to make sure that we have downtime to recharge our batteries. So we often find this spent watching movies and TV shows together. While our tastes do differ sometimes, we're lucky that we actually enjoy watching a lot of the same kinds of shows, which definitely help things along. As we've mentioned in one of our other videos, then Schitt's Creek is definitely up there as one of our favorites. But we've also binged through the likes of Homeland, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, How I Met Your Mother, and many others. Our current binge is Blackish, which we cannot recommend highly enough. We've always been sporty people. As mentioned before, I was a competitive basketball player, Rachel was a competitive figure skater, and we've both been very lucky to have been given the opportunity to play a number of sports growing up. With that, not only do we enjoy watching sports together, but we've also gotten into playing some together too. The main one that we've really gotten into though is volleyball. Rachel played for our high school, I actually played for my university during my last year there, so it made a lot of sense for us to play together. We've been very fortunate to find a team of people that we continuously play with once a week. We have so much fun together and have become friends as a result. Spending time with family and friends is always an important thing to us. We're big foodies and we're fortunate to hang out with people who are in the same boat. As a result, we find ourselves usually catching up in such a location whenever we can. Toronto is a very diverse city, which allows us to explore and enjoy various international cuisines. Some of our favorites include Japanese, Italian, Middle Eastern, and Mexican, to name but a few. We will never have enough time or money to savor them all. If you couldn't already gather from our announcement a couple of weeks ago, as well as a number of things that we've done in our videos up to now, we truly find value in experiences over things, as memories are some of the most important things that you can make. 
We've always done what we can to go to live events and try new things together. Some of the concerts we've been to have included Bastille, Heim, Jungle, and One Republic. We've also been to some Raptors and Marley's games, and we go out to as many unique places in the city as possible, some of which we hope to feature in upcoming videos. And that's a little bit about us and what we get up to. Feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. In the meantime, take care. And keep smiling. Seriously, now that we're trying to film here, unbelievable. Don't they know we're trying to film a video? Gah. To places like Spain, France. <laughs> gush about you will when you're not looking at me. Aside from our individual interests. Wait a second, this isn't... It's not centered. It's really bugging me. Okay, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a little bit of... Oh, 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 oh. In the Dante, no. Buddy, you gotta stop, man.